How's it going? Aquaponic update, haven't done one for a while, so I thought I'd try and knock one off now. Oh, and the sun's come out. Woohoo! Um, fish tank. Fish tank's going alright. I've put some lettuce over the back to see if I can encourage the, um, the jays to come up um, and feed. Probably won't get a shot of any today. They like hiding in this back corner over here behind the bubbler. Um, creates a bit of a um, screen for them to hide behind. So they haven't been coming out. It's also a bit cold. Uh, a lot of the mildew, mildew, a lot of the algae problems gone. Um, the floor's looking a lot cleaner. And the walls are starting to die off on the walls. Um, the slows. I'm actually um, blocked one off at the moment. And they're solid, um, sorry, solid lifting outlets. Um, they lift the water's drawn from the bottom and all the way up. It just gives you good circulation of the tank. Um, these ones here, are the one inch ones, are actually going to be blocked off and I'm installing a um, 32 millimeter or inch and a quarter um, line that will actually feed all grow beds. So that's just sitting up there above water level at the moment while I plumb the rest of it in. Um, yeah, so anyway, the fishies are doing all right. They have a bit blurry. They've gone off their food a little bit over the last um, week or so, but then again, the temperature's been coming down. So they've fixed it. that. There we go. So anyway, I know they're happy. You see them around at night time. They seem to come out at dusk a fair bit. So, um, to the rest of the system, seems to be going all right. Um, I realised I was fighting the laws of physics when I had these pipes down on the ground, curled and then up and over. So to increase the flow, we're only getting about 360 litres. Oh, sorry. No, it was right. About 360 litres an hour through um, the tank, which is not good. You really need to replace the water in the tank at least once an hour. So by changing the outlets and um, the main outlet to the grow beds up there on a fairly level line, is that black one there? I've been able to increase the circulation without it overflowing up to about 800 litres an hour. So hopefully with the larger pipe and once it's plumbed in um, and I fix up the gradient and all the rest of it, we'll be able to easily get um, a thousand litres an hour through here. So the plants themselves, the plants themselves are doing all right. Um, that's big strawberry here. Keep an eye on him, I'd say this afternoon or tomorrow morning he'll be coming off. Um, heaps of other little flowers all the way through there. Uh, these green onions that I planted, showed you in other clips, they're doing really well. This parsley just gets mowed down all the time. Um, there's some green, uh, red Chinese shallots, uh, Mugsy Jeff from up at Budrum um, Centres. Still growing great. Rather large green onion over the back there, they'll end up in a quinoa salad tonight I reckon. And some of these over here are rather large as well, so and strawberries everywhere, the runners went all the way through here. Bullshorn capsicum over the back, it went really well. Um, just go around there, have a look. And we've got one ripening up there. Oh, chives are opening up. Cool. There's some flowers, save some seeds from them. Um, yeah, these bullshorns are doing really well. I um, picked five the other day. I actually got a bit of a um, bit of a clip for them. There we go. I'd say about two or three of these are going to end up um, grilled and then putting some oil with some vinegar and other bits and pieces. So I'm really chuffed. The amount of capsicums we've lost over the year to fly strike, and um, not even this one here wasn't even bagged up, and they didn't get to him. So I'm very chuffed. So anyway, um, I'll show you a picture too of one that. Um, he got caught in the corner of the bag. I tied the bag too tight. And um, yeah, he ended up being concertinas. Yeah, so very happy with them. Um, some of them hopefully, some of them have already been eaten. And hopefully some of these guys will go into a uh, recipe I've seen. So I um, want to do some, preserve some flame charred or char grilled um, capsicums and eggplant. Um, more strawberries. I'll just give you a look at this guy. He's rather huge. He's, um, Two fingers, larger than two fingers across at the base of green onion, but he's right at the outlet pipe here, so yeah, he probably gets all the good stuff. Um, yeah, just to show you the plumbing, um, just a bulkhead fitting, 32 mil or inch and a quarter down, 45 degree angle. I just need to um, shorten this one here so I can raise elevate it a little bit. Um, I might actually end up taking that out and just using the 90 degrees on an angle. I'll just see what happens. I really want to support it nice and snugly. Um, they, all the major joins will be glued in eventually. 
So this just all sitting here loose at the moment. Um, going to have a um, outlet here. That's a um, 32 mil or inch and a quarter with a um, one inch or 25 mil um, T. So I'm going to fit a tap onto there. I'm not going out to buy the the um, PVC ones. I'm just going. To, I've got some adapters. I'm just going to put some of these on. So that'll just go on there. And comes around the corner. Um, this corner here is going to need to be elevated a bit, so that's just a part of my mucking around. It started raining the other day, so I couldn't do the video and finish this off, so... Come across here, straight through the middle of this grow bread, and I'll have another tap fitting here. I've worked all this pretty much well out, just need to put on another little bit of pipe and a tap, like that. I already have these parts, so I'm not going to spend 15 bucks on taps and whatnot. So, yeah, that's how these guys are going to be fed. Um, we're going to have the bell siphon over in the far corner there, and the far corner there, and they'll just run straight back into the sump. Um, at the moment the holes are on this side, but that's just the way I put them in after I drilled them. So, that's pretty much all how it's going to go. Um, I should have enough pebbles for this one, or clay balls, sorry. Um, I think I have a can of clay balls, these ones. So I should have enough for at least one grow bed, hopefully. And, um... I'll probably top it up with another bag. I might need one or two more bags. This one here will probably end up being rocks. So, just can't afford the clay balls at the moment. So, um, just show you down here as well. These are a couple of the runners. Um, there's some up under the house. Uh, you might have seen from the garden walkthrough clip. I actually uh, accidentally ripped the runner off. So, these two here, as soon as they root themselves in, They'll be cut off and I'll try and root this one and there's another one up in here. I might try the um, plastic ba bag method where you just get some dirt in a plastic bag and tie it around there. See if it sets some roots and then transplant it. Yeah, so trying to get as many strawberries as we can. These all came from our um, strawberry grow wall, our failed grow wall we did a while back. I uh, still want to replicate that but it'll probably be with um, aquaponics unfortunately. It won't be with... Um, soil um, aquaponics I think is just uh, suits grow walls a lot better. Um, goldfish. Goldfish came out of the large fish tank and are down in here. Um, you're not going to really see them except for the gold blur at the back. Still got six of them. Still got the flame tail gudgeons and there's one yabby left. Um, he lives just down here um, just where the um, tap is, the tap housing. That's his little cave don't know what happened to all the rest. Saw no evidence of shells or anything. Um, so, yeah, he must have been the um, conqueror, the one that reigned supreme. So, and eating all his buddies. So, no, uh, still no perch. Very shy little fellas. And this thing here. We have a backup box now. Um, that's where our power pack is, our, sorry, our foreboard. We've got a foreboard in there. And that's just a Christmas tree light waterproof um, box for when you run your Christmas tree lights over your house, if you're that way inclined. Um, yeah, so we've got a little air pump that's down there, running air up into the um, fish tank. And there's the pump uh, power point for the pump in the sump over there. But in here, I've bought a backup pump, um, a DC powered one that'll go onto a car battery. Um, so that one will live in there with a couple of car batteries hopefully and I'll also, I'm getting the power brought to this post here, actually digging in another post so I'll be able to um, house all these little bits and pieces inside here, um, get some waterproof grommets. We had two or three days of constant rain the other day and this held out really well so got some ants making this under the lid but other than that yeah no moisture got in. Uh, mate helped me whack this up with some wood that he brought over and bits and pieces laying around here and um, signed salvage from a family member ages ago so um, chicken coops actually made out of the same material so this big box hopefully will house all the electronics um, I put a um, just a bit of um, high density water pipe on there just so I didn't end up losing my head if it fell so it's a nice big box and just painted her up with the um, same colour as the um, fish tank and the grow beds are going to be. Oh, not too sure if I'm going to paint these grow beds. I might just wrap them in plastic. So, yes, we'll see what happens. So that's pretty much all it. Um, yes, can't really say much more, I don't think.
uh, I'd like to be able to find, show you the fish just to prove that we've got them I've got a little bit of film from the weekend with the fish so I'll cut that in there but in all honesty it's not from today so so that's pretty much for it. Um, not much of an update. Uh, hopefully there'll be more to show you next time. So take it easy. Have a good one. Gotcha.